Welcome to Harris Chester Racetrack and Casino. I'm Jennifer Sherlock, and you're watching PA Harness Week. Steve and Heather will be with you in just a moment, but first, here's what's on today's show. Sonny's back with a behind-the-scenes look at how the horses get ready to race each day here at the track. And I'll introduce you to one of the harness drivers here, who is part of a big family of racing. Corey Callahan won three legs of the Levy Stakes in New York. We'll talk with him about his big day. Plus, you'll see some exciting races from Chester and Pocono. Plus, Coach Evie Helm is going to help you cash some big tickets. These are the headlines this week on Racing's fastest-paced half-hour, PA Harness Week. So they go. Explosive matter wins the Colonial easily. Underway. Hi everybody and welcome to PA Harness Week here at Harris Chester. As you can see the sights and sounds of people making money in the background. And let me tell you something, if you're by racist, then today is your nirvana, let me tell you. It's going to be an amazing day. Whoa, what, you, what? By racist? Yeah. What does that mean? Duh, it means you bet harness and thoroughbred. What do you think I'm at, babe? Okay, all right, I got you now. You got that now? <laughs> okay, big doings going on at Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs today, Kentucky Derby Day. Let me tell you what's going on. Amazing stuff. First of all, you can be betting your butts off early on. I'm talking like 10:30 in the morning. The first race at Churchill, all stakes during the day. The 11th race in the card is the Kentucky Derby. But that's not all. You know what else is going on at Mohegan Sun? I do. Do you want me to say, or yeah, would well, you like to? <laughs> First of all, we should tell everybody that it is in a uh, post time of 5 p.m. at Mohegan Sun of Pocono Downs. Usually, it's a little bit later, so make sure you make a note of that. And we should also tell the people that who we are. You're Heather Moffat. I'm Steve Ross. <laughs> this is PA Harness Week. Uh -huh. I hope they know that. Are I mean, you? they know who I am anyway. Are you going out to Mohegan Sun to wear a funny hat? Chance to win 500 bucks? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You are? Yeah. Okay. Here's the deal at Mohegan Sun. If you're a lady over 21 years old and you wear a Kentucky Derby hat, then you're going to get a free $2 bet voucher and a free program. If you're a guy, you get bumped because they figure you're coming anyway. you got no choice. It's going to be a huge party. A, a big tent's going to be put up. There's going to be food, mint juleps. You've got to get out there. Stuff for sale, mint juleps from 4 to 8 p.m. And let me tell you something why you should maybe think about dragging your old lady along. Important reason. Because let's say you're stuck three or four hundred late in the day and you're trying to get out. All of a sudden, she's got the nifty hat on her head, and that might be worth 500 bucks in cash. So drag her along to Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs. It's going to be good stuff. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Terrific. <laughs> All right, let's get through the racing action. And right here at Harris Chester, opening day was, of course, last Friday, and there was a big invitational, and the star of the show was Buckeye St. Pat. And with those details, here's Heather. Thank you very much. Yes, in the open trot, seven of the best trotters in the entire country go behind the starting gate here at Chester. We have the battle of the sexes between millionaires. We've got Corleone Cosmos, who's a gentleman, and then we've got the lady of Buckeye St. Pat. Both of them are in their 2010 debut. And they're off, and looking, Hanover goes right for the lead. Chosen Voyageur shows speed, so does Corleone Cosmos, and like a bat out of hell's up close early. They race to the first turn, and Looking Hanover has cleared Chosen Voyageur, and Corleone Cosmos is advancing outside of rivals. John Campbell to put Corleone Cosmos on point at the apex of the first turn. From the front trio, it's a length and three quarters to Like a Batter to Hell. Buckeye St. Pat's on hold from fifth. The mare is six and a half lengths off the lead. And let's get serious. The second last, let's get serious. Not part of the pace today. And Lolik is in his customary position at the back of the pack. He's 11 lengths off Corleone Cosmos through a controlled 28 and 1 first quarter. Corleone Cosmos leads them into the bridge turn. The margin is a length and a half from Looking Hanover. Chosen Voyageur on hold from third, like about it a hell is fourth. And now let's get serious as put into play. He's first over, up within five lengths of the lead. Lolik is drafting with cover and up a joint last with Buckeye St. Pat. They're covered by six and a half through a 57 and three half mile. Corleone Cosmos under no pressure whatsoever through that first half mile. 
but Let's Get Serious comes to call on the outside. Let's Get Serious is up within a length and a quarter of the lead, and Corleone Cosmos is asked to let out a notch by John Campbell. Looking, Hanover rides the pocket. Now is tracking a bit more loosely. Low Leak was carried up second over. Three lengths from the lead. Buckeye St. Pat has four and a half to make up while in the clear. Chosen Voyageur needs racing room. And like a battle to hell was shuffled to last. Three quarters in 126 flat. The field turns for home. And it's Corleone Cosmos a length and a quarter in front. Let's get serious as stalled facing the breeze. Low Leak was tipped three wide. Buckeye St. Pat's closing well while four wide. A 16th from home. Corleone Cosmos is off stride. Corleo Cosmos made a costly break. Some people say I'd rather be lucky than good, right? Well, I want to be both, like Buckeye St. Pat, okay? She gets a good trip in here, then she kicks in this explosive last quarter. About the same time, her main rival in the race, Corleone Cosmos, goes off stride. So Buckeye St. Pat ends up winning it in 154 and 4. Looking Hanover with second, Lolik with third. Now, if Corleone Cosmos doesn't go off stride, does Buckeye St. Pat still win? Hmm. I don't know, but we're going to inquire with winning driver Tim Tietrich. You must have been impressed with her 2010 debut. Oh, absolutely. You know, I got to race her easy, and she still got the job done winning, but uh, she raced really well. That's her kind of her style, one big move, and, you know, she got by some nice, uh, classy race horses, and it's a great start for 2010 for her. The big question is, uh, could she has, have won if Corleone Cosmos wouldn't have made that break in the stretch? I guess we'll never know. You know, my mare uh, was really closing fast, and, you know, I know he had a two, three link jump on me, but uh, who knows? My mare can really catch up a lot of ground in a short period of time, and, you know, it would have probably been tough, been very tight. It would probably have been a photo finish, but uh, I'm glad we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> have a great season with her. Thanks. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you, Tim. Good stuff. And when we come back, we'll have more from Harris Chester. We'll go up to Mohegan Sun, poking a dance with the best up there, and we'll meet with a vendor boy. You won't want to go away. Stay with us. Hanover Shoe Farms welcomes our 2010 foals. Only one thing is missing. Their names. What's my name? Please, please, please tell me my name. I don't know my name. What's my name? Tell me already. Come on. Mama, what's, what's my, my name? name? Tell me, please, please, what's my name? What's my name? Tell me, tell me, what's my name? We need your help. Visit our website at www.hanoverpa.com and you can help us name these fine youngsters. What's my name? What's my name? Heather, we're on in three. Steve, we're on in three. They're lining up at the gate. This looks like an exciting matchup. And they're off. The Phillies taking the lead. Not again. It's a close finish, folks, but the Phillies take the cup. Catch the action on PA Harness Week with Heather Moffat and Steve Ross every Saturday, 10.30 a.m. on Comcast Sportsnet. Their characters. Amateurs. It's your big night out, and you deserve a little more. Come on, come on. That's why you'll love the Downs Off-Track Wagering. It's more than a sports bar. It's extra fun because you can watch, wager, and win on the hottest horse racing action from Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs and across the country. Downs Off-Track Wagering. Allentown, Carbondale, East Stroudsburg, Hazleton. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER.